I'm gonna get what do it when it gets the tan on the ground. separation just happened. You see this beautiful halo effect as the first stage of the Falcon 9 rocket is coming now down back to Earth. The second stage that is still propelling that crew dragon resilience with four amateur astronauts is still uh, well on its way to orbit. Four regular people, Jared Eisenman, uh, Haley Arsenal, a childhood cancer survivor, uh, Chris Sombrowski, someone who was just watching the Super Bowl and got you know, the thrill of his life to be a part of this mission, and Dr. Sam Proctor, who uh, is a business owner, a teacher, and all of them were just regular folks. They are now counted among those in the astronaut class, and they are well on their way to orbit. They're going to be 350 miles above the Earth's surface for the next three days once they reach that cruising altitude orbit. It's really just a, an awe-inspiring uh, mission that, you know, is not only going to be beneficial for, you know, uh, the inspiration for the crew to, uh, to raise money for St. Jude's, but also just to inspire folks around the, the world, including uh, 
uh, kids back at St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital who are now watching Haley, herself a childhood cancer survivor, go into space. And I want to bring in uh, one of our own space experts here on the Space Coast, uh, Greg Pallone. Greg, of course, you've covered several launches over the years, uh, uh, space shuttles, uh, crew missions with um, uh, SpaceX as well. But this is the first time we're getting to see uh, non-official astronauts going to launch space. What's, what has it been like for you uh, when you're watching? Thank you. 